Welcome to my complete on-trail gear review and overview. Gear review slash overview. By the way, real quick, please excuse if you see the dirtiness of this hotel. I, it's not clean at all. Um, I have all of my gear on the bed right now. I'm going to go through it with you, tell you what I have how I'm liking it, if I'm not liking it. Um, just so you know, all the gear that I'm using, I'll let you know if I've changed gear and things like that. So let's dive right in. Uh, to the main things, I'm using a Z-Pax uh, Arctic, Arctic Blast, is it? Arctic, yeah, backpack. It's very lightweight, in fact, so lightweight that it's starting to get holes down in here, right here. So I'm gonna have to start uh, duct taping all of that. So that's only after like uh, five or six weeks of use. I don't, it's not gonna last. It's It'll last through the, my trip, but it'll be dead by the end of the trip, I'm pretty sure. Um, I am a Z-Pax fanboy. I also got the, uh, I think it's a 20 degree. Um, um, sleeping bag. I got the big one, the longest one. I also got the Z Pax duplex tent, which is probably my favorite piece of Z Pax gear. It's a uh, really big, super, super lightweight. It's kind of lame that it's not freestanding, but you know, that's what I get for having ultra lightweight. Steaks I just bought for like seven bucks on Amazon. Uh, nothing fancy. I'm using the the ultralight Therma Rest, um, which is nice. It popped once. I used the kit that they gave me, and it's been fine since. From there, uh, I'm using the Gossamer Gear trekking poles, mainly because it has a nice handy uh, place to put my GoPro right on top there. Um, they are very lightweight, which is good. Uh, check out that tip. I really need to replace that tip. I'm getting replacements in Kennedy Meadows. I picked these up in LA. It's really nice having a second pair of shoes. Highly recommend it. Regardless of the extra weight, it's worth it. Um, I'm using the Lone, uh, Lone Pine, Lone Peak, Lone Peak, Lone Peak 3.0 uh, Ultras. Um, I actually just barely ordered a new pair. Um, these have been doing fairly well. Um, I mean, you can definitely see some usage there, especially on this one. Uh, they're getting pretty beat up right in the middle there. Um, I'm starting to feel things a lot more and the tops, the fronts are getting pretty beat up and I just wanted a good pair of shoes to go into uh, the Sierras if I end up going into the Sierras. Um, I did get some higher, some high top versions of these just to help with not getting as much snow in the shoe. Um, so those are my shoes. I'm sporting the uh, Darn Tough socks right now. I can't find the other one of this one. But I've got a short pair and a long pair. Uh, another one of my favorite pieces of gear is the Patagonia Ultra Lightweight uh, Fluffy. Puffy. Puffy Fluffy. It folds up into itself, which is really nice. It's incredibly warm for how incredibly lightweight it is. Um, uh, gloves, they're nothing to write home about. I like buffs. These are nice. I have two of them. One to keep my hat on because my hat's a little bit big for my head and the other one for my neck. Um, I love these underwear as well. These you get at um, REI. They're like $35 a pair, but they're amazing. Love them. Um, I've changed different shorts throughout. Uh, this is just my um, poo bag. 
I got my toilet paper in there as well as my trash as well as uh, um, something to wash my hands with. What else? What else? This is my first aid kit, sort of. So I got a bunch of drugs in here, um, some KT tape, first aid stuff, some scissors, some matches, um, tape, things like that. Um, gators. These have been really cool to have. I didn't have them until LA. However, the kind that I got aren't great for through hiking. They just barely broke. Like these are from REI. I'm going to probably duct tape that and see if that'll get me to Kennedy Meadows because I got more coming. Um, more random things. Let's see. Toothbrush. Um, gold bond. Good for uh, any uh, chafing. This is what I've been using for my for my knee. It's a patella band. These are just kind of strappy things I'll occasionally use. Uh, I also have just like a quick draw right there or a locking carabiner. Uh, for my stove, I'm just using one of these. I just got it randomly in Warner Springs. Um, they are not expensive and then just you just screw it on and light it up again i got this at warner springs too uh, fairly inexpensive it's kind of dirty in there i need to clean it spoon um these attached to the belt of my backpack in here i've got my headlamp which isn't good it's pretty uh it's pretty crappy. It's just one that I've had forever. Energizer, like it's nothing. It's it's just yeah. It's just one I've had. Um, GoPro headband there. Um, I'll put like GoPro stuff headlamp in there. Uh, food usually goes in this one, so it's easy access. Um, this bag is for the cooking gear there. This is my food bag. I showed you guys that yesterday. This is my uh, rain gear. I really love the Outdoor Research's um, uh, rain jacket. It's it's amazing. It's expensive, but it's it's really good. It's great. I also use it to block wind, or if I'm just a little chilly, because I only have that and this for like warmth. I'm getting thermal sent to me in Kennedy Meadows, but this is great for warmth. Um, I've got a bag to put over my backpack. I've got a uh, rain skirt. I put this around around me right here so that if you're walking in a wet plant area, it's not going to get your uh, shorts wet. And then I've got this, which I used a little bit ago. It's the net, the face net for the bugs. Um, that's all of my main gear right there. Uh, we did that pretty quickly. That's all of my main gear. Uh, there is a description. There is a uh, more information in the description down below. You can look at my gear list there and click on links to find out exact weight and pricing for all of this. A lot of it is kind of expensive. The Z-Pack stuff is kind of expensive. Um, the Gossamer gears are, are overpriced. Um, I am using the Sawyer. I don't think I showed you guys that. Um, I'm using the Sawyer Squeeze, not the Sawyer Mini. The Sawyer Mini I hear doesn't work as well. Anyways, that's all of my gear. However, I also have a lot of technology gear. This is my charging setup. So I got one of these with one, two, three, four, five, six USB plugins. I got two um, battery packs right here. Uh, my InReach uh, GoPro. My um, my watch, um, which is a Garmin Suunto. Um, I've been trying this out. It's a um, solar. It was it was super cheap. Got it in Agua Dulce. I'm not impressed. I don't think I'm gonna keep it for very long because I've got these two battery packs, so I don't really need that. Um, and then I've got my laptop 
and my external hard drive. Um, I like to bring lots of bags with me. I like putting things in bags. That's good for like your trash, your toilet paper, your clo your uh, um, food, things like that. And then of course a charger for my phone. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, I have a lot of ultra lightweight gear. Um, and then a lot of not very light gear. Uh, and I did that on purpose. I got the ultra lightweight backpack and sleeping bag and tent and um, sleeping mat and things like that so that I could afford to carry a four pound laptop and a one pound external hard drive and all of that tech gear. Um, my base weight, I honestly don't know exactly. I would guess just under 20 pounds. Um, it fluctuates as I pick things up and, and get rid of things. Um, but I would say it's around 20 pounds um, with my with my tech gear. Without my tech gear, it's a lot lighter. Um, and I'm pretty happy with my weight right now. Once I get to Kennedy Meadows, I'm going to be carrying micro spikes if I end up going through the Sierras. I've ordered micro spikes, um, bigger um, gaiters that go all the way up my leg. I'll be, I'll have pants by then, um, a long sleeve shirt, um, thermals, what else, a uh, bear canister, bear canister I'm not excited for, so we'll see, I might have to modify all of this once I get to Kennedy Meadows, but this is my gear thus far on the Pacific Crest Trail, and I'm happy, and I'm fairly happy with most of it. Um, I mentioned the things that I, that I really liked, um, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I decided to stay here for another zero, um, yesterday's zero. I didn't do any video editing at all. I was just basically in recovery mode, and so I decided that I should probably stay another day because hike your own hike, you know, stay as long as you want, but also I need to get that editing in. Um, I had some stuff that I needed to update on my channel um, to make it a little bit more searchable. And yeah, I'm definitely leaving tomorrow. I will probably hike out in the afternoon though. Um, maybe do like 10 miles in the evening uh, and then start a full day the day after. So see you guys tomorrow. Let me know if you have any questions about my gear. Um, the list, I think, is completely comprehensive down there. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. I might be missing some little things that I picked up here and there. But uh, yeah, thanks guys. See you tomorrow.